uh, let's talk about numbers. Uh, steady quarter for Hexaware Technologies. The company also raised guidance for the calendar year. Agam Vakil caught up with Ash Rikishna, CEO of the company, and began by asking him the factors behind the guidance raise. The first and foremost is our existing deal order book. Um, there is a robust order book. Uh, it's, it's a combination of orders from new clients that were booked last year and uh, existing clients that happen every quarter. Um, that's mostly what the guidance is based on. Uh, there's a little bit dependence on new pipeline, uh, which is pretty strong. Again, it's strong from both existing and new clientele. And finally, we, we established a fairly good track record of solid execution. So there's a lot of confidence that we will continue to do well. Right, Ms. Mr. Sri Krishna. For the last three straight quarters, your margins are uh, hanging around the 14% mark. Uh, I was going through some analyst reports this morning, which suggested some concerns with respect to margins, especially considering margins are used to be about well over the mark of 15%. My question really is, what's played out this quarter, and what can we expect going forward, especially when you keep in mind factors like utilization, forex, as well as your own operational efficiencies going forward? Sure. See, we had a 2%, a little over 2% drop in utilization this quarter. And that was well planned. Uh, it was well planned in a quarter where we know we have some other tailwinds and then we can afford to take a lower utilization without impacting margins, which is what we did. Our, our sequential quarter margin is, is flattish, slightly up. Um, and we reduce utilization for doing two things. It will improve our ability to service our customers better, faster, and aid revenue growth. And second thing it does is in the two to three quarter time frame, it helps us improve structural cost because we are not doing just in time uh, hiring anymore. Um, so what that means for a margin outlook for this year, um, you know, we've said that our margins will continue to grow in absolute terms in line with revenues, which means profitability will be maintained. Uh, but in, in the longer term, there's a little bit opportunity for both structural cost improvement and increased utilization, which will lead to better margins. I want to talk a little more about the banking and financial vertical as well. And uh, perhaps from an industry perspective, uh, a lot of your peers are suggesting that uh, well, you know this, this particular vertical is turning a corner. That said, for Hexaware Technologies, it's been relatively stronger as compared to other players in the industry. My question to you with respect to banking and financial vertical is that uh, what are you reading now at this point in time? And if the industry is looking at turning a corner, can we expect even more strength to come through over the next, uh, say, uh, four or five, five odd quarters when it comes to Hexaware? So uh, I think, you know, for us, how we, uh, what segments of the industry we are present in may not be typical of the broader industry. So we have presence in capital markets. We have presence in secondary mortgage. And we are a challenger in, in banks, in, in retail and commercial banks. Retail and commercial banks has been the area of you know, slow growth for a lot of the rest of the industry. We are not an incumbent in that area, which puts us in a good spot. Uh, so we don't have the pressures of reducing revenues due to automation. On the contrary, we have an opportunity to gain market share because we are a non-incumbent and we are a challenger. That's on the banking side. On capital markets and secondary mortgage, those two markets have been quite strong uh, for us. And, and frankly, the uh, buy side asset managers have been strong for pretty much everyone else who's strong in that industry as well. And we expect that to continue to remain strong for us.